Installing your new roof hatch safety rails is easy and only requires a few tools. While it can be done alone, we recommend two people for the smoothest installation. To get started, you'll need the following tools. A box cutter or scissors, a 9 16 inch wrench and socket, but you can also use 14 millimeter, and an electric drill with a 3 8 inch socket and a Phillips head. Start by carefully cutting the straps on the box and removing the lid. Cut the packaging off of all the individual pieces. You should have the following. Two side rails, two front feet and two rear feet, one gate, one back bar, and a hardware kit. If you desire to do so, you can stage the parts around the hatch in the location that they will be installed to make it easier. Now install the front feet by putting a flat washer on one of the included bolts, then pushing it through the hole on the front of the foot through the mounting point of the hatch. Add the nut to the back and lightly tighten, ensuring to leave the foot loose enough to still have a little wiggle room. This will make installing the sides easier later. Then do the same for the other front foot and both back feet. Each foot has two bolts that should be installed. Once all the feet are loosely attached, install the side railing by sliding it onto the feet, starting with the front, then sliding it onto the back. Be sure to determine which side you want the hinges on beforehand. Once both sides are in place, secure them with the wire snap safety pin on all four corners. The back bar can now be installed. Simply raise it into place, then attach it using another bolt with a flat washer on both sides. Tighten it until it's snug, but be sure not to over tighten. Now that your sides and back are in place, we can install the gate. Start by using the supplied grease to lubricate both the top and bottom hinges on the side rail. You can also put a little inside the holes on the gate itself if desired. Make sure it's evenly spread around the entire hinge. Then lift the gate into place and set it on the hinges. Make sure that when closed, the gate makes contact at the bottom bar but ensure that there's enough of a gap at the top to install the magnet. To do this, you can simply place the magnet in between the side rail and the gate. If the gate height needs adjusting, you can move the hinge side rail in or out before tightening. Once the gate looks good, you can tighten everything down, starting with the non-hinge side, then moving to the hinge side, adjusting if necessary. Install the contact pad at the contact point at the bottom of the gate by removing the adhesive back, then firmly pressing it into place. If it's cold outside, the pad may need to warm up to become flexible enough to conform to the rail. Now secure the magnet by ensuring that it's in the proper location and will make contact with the gate, then screwing it onto the rail in place using a self-tapping screw. The final step is to install the gate spring. To do this, place it over the top of the bottom hinge, ensuring that the hooked side of the hinge is on the inner side. Spread the spring over the outside of the side rail and the gate, then test to make sure the spring keeps the gate closed. Once everything looks good, fasten the spring into place using another self-tapping screw at the hooked point in the spring. Your installation is now complete. You can now enjoy the increased peace of mind and safety provided by your SafePro guardrails.